All right, we're just changing the impeller here. The impeller is located right in the back where my finger is. It's right here in the back. And I already got it. the lid off. The lid is right here. It's got four screws. It just pops right off. You have four of the 516 screws. So it's pretty easy to take off. And then I just used some pliers to peel, to take it out. Just get in that groove of the impeller. And you want to make sure you have the impeller um, when you put your new one back in the right way. So this one, I'm going to keep the same orientation of the boat like that. I've got my new one right here. The, the impeller size might be different for your boat. Just ask your dealer. So here's the difference between the new impeller and the old impeller. You can definitely see that there needs to be a change in it. They're starting to get wear on it. I usually, depending on how hard I'm using the boat, I'll change it right under 50 hours. So. We've got the same markings, the same groove right here. And this is how I took it out, so I just want to stick it back in. And you're going to have to really squeeze it in there a little bit because the impellers have to bend in there. So let's get it in. Alright, well we just got the impeller installed. It took us about 10 minutes, but it was pretty hard. You had to really get it pressed in there. These grooves, you gotta turn it just a little bit to get it matched in those grooves to really get it in there. But the key is with the box, I didn't really look at it, is the lubricant. It'll just slide a lot easier in there. It took me about a minute after I figured that out. So. On my old piece, I want to take my old seal off because that's pretty much perished. And then I got two new seals. One, it's just going to fit in that ring. And then this one, it's going to fit. I can just see it matching with it. Just match them with the holes because the seal's a little off balance because of the water the weight will be pressured there a little bit more and then just match it in mar straight up get it on there with the screw screw it back on and test it out I got my 5 16 screwdriver And you just want to screw it back on. I have a towel below the impeller just in case I drop a screw. It's just going to land right on the screw. That's just a nice little tip. You got to go right around the exhaust. Kind of a painful spot to be in. It's not that comfortable. Alright, we got the fake lake set up, so we're just going to see how the impeller works. Let me start it up real quick. Sure. There's 
really no leakage in there. If you put your if you put your hand under under the impeller, you won't be able to feel any dripping. So seems like a success.